Well, welcome to church. Yep. Need to be in the house of the Lord. We need to calm and praise and worship God. This evening we've got um, Warren Curtis Smith, who is going to be playing and singing and uh, encouraging us with uh, a bit of scripture and uh, some thoughts. And it's going to be really incredible. Those who were here a few minutes ago heard him play a little jazzy sort of number that we'll probably sing towards the end. Let's open in prayer. Father, I just want to come and thank you for tonight. I thank you in advance of what you're going to do because we believe that you are here in our midst. And where you are, we know that there are miracles, that there are a changed hearts, changed lives, Father God, and we, we just want to come and present ourselves before you and pray that tonight, tonight would be a night of new beginnings. I'm reminded of the Salvation Army and General Booth, and when they first started, things were pretty tough, and uh, they outfitted a lot of the poor people that were getting saved, and they put them in army uniforms because that was the uh, army surplus was the cheapest way to clothe everybody. But they used to take the uh, secular songs, the pub songs, and change the words and uh, turn them into Christian songs. And so everybody knew the tunes, and uh, that caught on really well. And I thought, well, why not? We can still do that today. And so I, that's what I put together a, a um, sermon tonight. We're starting off in uh, the book of Genesis with the creation of Eve and uh, we're going we're gonna to go on through right up to the cross and, and even to the rapture so hang on to your have you got your seat belts on because we're going to and, and if you want to get up and dance go for it be free the Bible says uh, in John 3 verse 7 it says if you're born again you're a loose cannon I don't, I don't know what it says but the cannon is in there so <laughs> maybe a cannon but anyway it says that, well, you don't know which way the wind's blowing if you're born of the spirit of God you're loose you're not religious the devil wants you to be religious God wants you to be loose and then you're dangerous and uh, you're all like the chiefs when you're, when you're playing loose it, it's great so I hope you enjoy uh, tonight we're going to have a we can have a bit of fun, I think. So, this this one I pitched off um, Eric Clapton, and it's about Adam and Eve when God created Adam and how He created Eve. <laughs> made Adam long ago, put him in the garden to watch him grow when he was pleased. Adam was all alone in that great big garden home, he didn't want to leave. Very clever, lay down Sally. <laughs> when Adam woke up, he was surprised. A beautiful woman was standing there before his eyes. They reached out, they held hands, and Adam said, I've got big plans, come stay with me. I'm gonna call you me. Lay 
where Huckle thinks uh, lonely is a man without love. This is lonely is a man without God. I can remember when we walked together in the garden. You told us things before we had to will it. You taught us things and told us things we should follow. But the snake said your words were really hollow. sound to it and uh, I quite liked it really and it was an old jazz tune that was called Caravan. Does anybody remember that old one? Oh, Goliath, man, 
guard here, little punk. But David's sling was quick. His sling was really slick. That stone hit home and it took all Goliath down. Jesus' ministry. I was listening to a chap, he was a um, Australian guy, I think it's Williamson, somebody Williamson, he had this real cool kind of rhythm. And I, I was listening to it, and I thought, man, I want to make a song that sounds really nice. a little acoustic guitar. Radical. He wasn't radical being radical. 
he was bringing in this wonderful new covenant that we had. And in John chapter 1, it says that the law was brought by Moses, but truth and grace, or grace and truth, came by Jesus Christ. And that's how we live our life in, in grace and truth. And that grace just brings so much freedom. Wonderful freedom. And I love that little scripture in, in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. And it says, For you are saved by grace through faith, which is a free gift from God, not of yourselves, not by works. And then it says, Lest any man boast. Man, doesn't that just makes a level feel, doesn't it? Wow, that takes rid of all, gets rid of all religiosity. Yeah. Anything that causes someone to say, oh, I did this, or I did that, or I can do this, or blah, blah, blah. And I was saved by the wonderful grace of our know, Lord Jesus. And it's such a freeing thing to know that we're held in his hand by all that he did. Nothing of ourselves. So um, this one's called What a Price. I um, gave this one to Radio Rima, I think it was 1996, and 13 or 14 years they later they were still playing it, but I, they couldn't buy any records because I didn't make it. I just gave them my master tape and said, yeah, help yourselves if you want anything. What a price he had to pay for Paradise was in the earth before the cross. 
And Jesus went down and preached to those captive souls in the bosom of Abraham. They were waiting. They had to also put their faith in the Lamb of God. And uh, the Bible says, let all things through two or three witnesses be established. And so Jesus is there and he's preaching. And he says, these guys say, yeah, but how can, we, how can we be sure? He says, hang on a minute. Thief! Oi! <laughs> Thief comes walking in. I've seen it. I was up there. And he had a witness. There we go. Everything's absolutely sorted with God in there. Don't leave anything out. So he's the center of all salvations and all creation wow that's our saviour i was thinking tonight you know holy spirit and the lord and i was thinking if somebody was here not saved and they got born again tonight that means god's found another dwelling place Amen. Isn't that cool? yes. yeah so anyway, what are we doing now we're up to the we're up to the pro, uh, cross and then uh of course what happens is we get taught this wonderful thing called our blessed hope. And um, the Bible says that the Christians have a special meeting place for Jesus. Hallelujah. And all those ones who have died and gone on ahead of us, they're up there in their spirit bodies floating around. I don't know what a spirit body would be like. It's sort of... Uh, cruise around and they, they, they sort of think they're kind of transparent but they can see you and all that sort of, sort of thing but it's not what they're really waiting for they're waiting for something better and the bible tells us in uh, philippians 3 20 that god is going to give us a glorious body like christ can you imagine that when you see see jesus in his resurrection body and the things that he did in that body and oh man i mean when he was on the mount of transfiguration whoa that was before he got resurrected. But we're going to have a glorious body like Christ. Man, I wonder, they are excited about that. Uh, all those ones that have gone ahead of us. Because they, they've seen Jesus up there walking around. He's got his body. But they're all waiting for theirs. And the Bible talks about that in Romans chapter 8. We're waiting for the redemption of the body. That's the final part of your redemption. The spirit gets born again. It's redeemed. Then we work out our salvation as we go on. And, that, and uh, that's through, we're working out our redemption, but we're still saved and we're going on. And then finally, we get this amazing body. So I've ordered big biceps. <laughs> now, I tell you, it'll be, it'll be good. This new body, and you can eat food. I don't think they eat food in their spirit body, but they eat food. There's going to be a big wedding supper up there. Yeah. And oysters so huge. <laughs> and you'd say, why are you laughing? Twelve gates around the city. And each one is made of a pearl. So where does a pearl come from? Man, the oyster, and they must be huge. <laughs> we chop away on one of those for years. <laughs> wow, well, just oh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a wonderful place, isn't it? Go! 
be a good chef. He's coming with a chef. He's coming with a chef. You better not miss out. He's coming with a chef. line was very sobering, wasn't it? That's the only thing we will have made there are the scars in his hands. Man, that makes you think, doesn't it? Hallelujah! What a mighty God we serve. Hey? Here's a start. God sent his son they call him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. He bled and died to buy my pardon. Empty grave is there to my Savior. 
Have we got time for one more? No? Yeah. yeah. Pinch this one off Frank Sinatra. You know this one, do you? This is a new age gospel song. You know what the new age trinity is, isn't it? Me, myself and I. Hallelujah. Well, that's, uh, that's my little presentation of 